Hello everyone, this is Shudipto from Technical Potpourri. So today I'll be discussing about the new Apex syntax that came in Winter 21 release and it's called Safe Navigation. With this Safe Navigation, you'll be able to write null check in your code in a much efficient way. Uh, I'll be also sharing the blog post URL in the description of this video, but I think it makes sense to do a little bit of live coding here today, and that will help you to understand how to use the syntax in a much better way. Without any further delay, let's dive. So the use case that will be will be using to uh, to understand how we can use this safe navigation is let's say we will be writing a, writing a method and what that method will do if we pass any account number the method will give me the account name it's a very basic one uh, but we'll, we'll we'll see like you know how this safe navigation will help us so let me go to my visual studio code and i have written a class called uh, safe navigation dot CLS. So let me first write a method public void. Let me make it a static method because I'm going to call this from the anonymous class uh, execution uh, public static void get account name and this is without safe navigation. Let's say so now here if we pass the account number i'm expecting it should give me the account name or it should print me the account name uh, so first thing what we'll do is like list account all accounts and let me run this query where account number This account number, right? And then normally, what we'll do, uh, what this this statement is doing is basically, you know, whatever account number you are passing, it's searching in the system, in the in the in the Salesforce org, and uh, storing all the mm, accounts in the list. Um, I'm expecting with account number, there will be only one account, but I, I, I have not used that limit one. Uh, instead of that, I just used a list to store all the accounts. Now, normally this is what we will do, or people will do, like first they will check whether this is empty. If the list is not empty, it means there is something in the list, this query return some value. Then what we'll normally do, we will, Print the will print the account name, uh, account number. Uh, sorry, account name. So account name is basically all accounts, and then we're fetching the first and then name. Uh, this is what we do. Now let me save this, and if I run this one from an anonymous window i mean an anonymous execution this is account number let's say first i'll pass this account number and if i execute this one now it ran successfully and the account name is this which is good now let's say i'll pass a number and i'll make sure like i know like you know this account number is not in the system so now yep so now what happened with this account number there is no there is no uh, there is no account right that's why uh, it this statement said like you know is empty and that's why it didn't execute right but what about we just have this one and we don't have this check right with that one now 
let me save this one. If I execute the same one again, it failed. And why it failed? It failed because it's telling list index is out of bounds, which means uh, that this query executed uh, with uh, the value that we passed here. But with that value, there is no account in the system. And that's why this failed. And now what the problem is, since we have not done the null check or the empty check of this list, it failed. To eliminate that, this is what we normally do. We first check whether the list is empty or not. If it's not empty, then do this, right? So it involves a little bit of coding. Now we'll do the exact same scenario with the safe navigation and you will fall in love the moment you see that. So this time, the name of the method is with safe navigation. And what we are trying to do, we are trying to get the name, right? So let me write the account name and exactly the same query here, right? But this time, the name. And then I'll just pass, I'll just do a system.debug where the account name is account name. Yep. So now with this line of code, you see like, you know, I've, I've written a, just two lines of code, right? Now let me call this one first with the correct value, 92, because I know this, this uh, account code is present in the system. So now if I, uh, and it, it's a new method that we are calling with safe, safe, safe navigation. Perfect, we, get, we got the name back. Now let me pass a wrong, or uh, I'll make sure like, you know, uh, this account number is not there in the system, right? So now if I run that, this time also it ran successfully, but it's returned nulls. So basically what, I didn't do any null check. The entire null check is done by this one. And this is the beauty of the safe navigation. So now with this one, I don't need to do any null check. It will make sure if this one is not null, then only assign this name value here. Otherwise don't do that, right? Uh, so that, that's the beauty. That's a beauty. Now let's say, um, I'll go one level deeper. Let's say the description, right? Let's say I'll put a description here. Uh, this is test description. Okay. That's good. Let me write one more class here. Uh, this time description. And uh, what is the what is the field name? Let me check quickly here. I think it's description, but it makes sense to check quickly. If I go to the fields and navigation and search for description, I think yep, it's a description. Okay, so far so good. This time, what we'll do, we'll use this one, this method. That's good. And we got our, what is getting, oh, okay. We passed the wrong value. So let, let me pass the correct one. Yep, so we got the description back. This is the description, right? We pass the we pass we pass the account number, which is present in the system. This is the account number, and there is a description. Now let's say we pass the account number, right? Uh, and with that account number, there is a there is an account, but there is no description, right? So basically, here, this one, right? So let's say we don't have any description. Now, if I execute the same code 
let's see what will happen it ran successfully and description is null very good now let's say i want to use this one here i want to make i want to use a string method to uppercase right uh, i can always do that whatever description i have i just want to make it a two uppercase let me first you know put this one back put the description back this is test description and now if i execute the same code again that's good uh, yep i got my description all in caps which is very good now if i get rid of this one now the use case is interesting right i'm passing account number with that account number there is already account in the system but there is no uh, there is no description so this is giving me null and this one is null dot two uppercase which is a null pointer exception that's what i'm expecting now let's see wow it failed and why it failed it failed because it was trying to dereference a null null object we know that because there is no description right how we can do that how we can eliminate that we can do that with another safe operation and let's put two uppercase here and then get rid of this one and save i'll explain but let's first test this one now if i execute wow it ran successfully and it's giving me null it's not giving me null pointer exception it ran successfully so what i have done here first i have done if this one is not null if this query is returning me something give me the description but if the description is null then store null here but if the if there is any description then only use this you know uh, string method to uppercase and store the uh, description in all caps in this one so now if i put the description back this is test description and save and come back and execute this one again it ran and it give it give me back the description all in caps so basically it's not like you know one level of uh, safe navigation you can use you can use a safe navigation you know multiple number of times um, so uh, this is the beauty of safe navigation as you can see we don't need to do all this you know if else logic it 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 can be easily uh, handled with the safe navigation operator basically a question mark followed by a dot which will make sure like you know left hand side if it is null or empty then if it is not null or empty then only execute the right side of the uh, right side of the uh, syntax otherwise it will it will store the null here so we don't need to explicitly do the null check so that's the beauty of this safe navigation and uh, 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 after if your org is I, I think by this time every all org is like you know winter 21 so you can you can definitely use this um, feature and i highly recommend to use this feature now quickly i'll, I'll tell you a few things that you can't do uh, with the safe navigation and which makes real sense like you can't use the safe navigation with the type operator let's say uh, you are you are you are uh, doing something called account dot uh, account dot let's say name right equals to this you can't uh, account dot name let's say hello world right now on the left hand side of the assignment you can't use the safe navigation doesn't make sense like uh, uh, it, otherwise where, where it will store this uh, hello world so it doesn't make sense to put this safe navigation here sometimes we use uh, page reference and dot thing right so it doesn't make sense to uh, use safe navigation here or uh, we use uh, flow right flow variable we use level uh, right level dot uh, something to get to fetch the custom level in the apex code uh, and there is no no point of using safe navigation in these things because you know during the during the runtime it will never be null it will never be null it will always have some value 
So it doesn't make sense to use the Naga for a safe navigation there. Other than that, it's a very uh, cool feature. Other technologies or other uh, programming language is already having, was already having this uh, feature. Mm, and I'm so happy that Apex also introduced this new one. So we should all uh, try to use this one and take advantage of this one. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.